Hey farm hands, Farm Boy Reef here. Welcome to the lab. So in this episode of the lab, we're going to talk about aquascaping. Um, I have over 200 pounds of uh, Marco's uh, rock right here. And this is the product that we're using. So we have these three tanks behind me that I have to do. So I got a lot of work ahead of me and we're going to use some of uh, his uh, bonding agent, uh, the eMarco 400. We're going to mix this up together and then what we're going to do is we're going to get started uh, aquascaping all three tanks. But we want to make sure when we're aquascaping, we want to make sure everything is uh, placed solid together so we don't have anything toppling over on our fish, our corals, or even just uh, you know breaking the tank. So the other things we have to think of while we're doing this, we have to make sure water flow. We don't want any dead areas, you know, getting uh, detritus in there, um, any food or anything that could be stuck and start to rot, and then really, you know, give spikes on for our, our nitrates. So we always want to make sure while you're building, always to think ahead what's going to happen next. And one of the other things that can happen as well, when you're using your uh, your bonding agent, never do all your rocks. You never know if you're gonna if you're gonna move to another house, and if you have one solid piece of rock in your tank, you can't get it out through the hood, and then you're in trouble. You gotta try to break it out. So always remember, don't glue every piece. Just get make sure you get your bases uh, really solid. Then you can uh, add a few pieces here and there, and you don't have to worry about things toppling over, and you don't have one solid piece of rock in your tank. So. What we need to do is we got to get this all mixed up, start with the mortar, mix it up, and then we got to sort of design what's going to look pleasing to the eye. So as we go here, we're going to place a few pieces to see how it's going to look. Either, you know, we can go with like a couple islands or we can go with one bigger piece, have some shelf rock here and there. And uh, this way we can make sure there's enough water flow around everything and then there's some nice caves in different areas for fish to hide. So let's get up close and personal. Let's mix up uh, the Marco E400 mortar. Get some pieces of live rock out here and let's get this project started. All right gang, so here's our 60 gallon tank. So what we have to do now is figure out how we want to place this live rock. We can do sort of do a mock-up and then we can go ahead and start uh, mixing up the mortar and get everything placed in here. So we got to figure out what do we want to do? Do we want to do, you know, a few islands? Do we want to do like a, you know, like a layered area in the back? It depends on what you're looking for. So I want to try to make all three of them as most identical as possible. So we can start placing some rock in here. So I got uh, over 200 pounds of Marco's rock here. It comes in all different uh, sizes, as you can see. Lots of holes for areas where you can put all frag plugs and everything in there. You have some nice uh, shelf pieces as well. You can put in the front if you want to take some uh, some pictures. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some bigger pieces, get them in the bottom here, sort through what we're gonna use. There's a lot of different sizes like this. You can just place it. Always be careful you don't hit your tank. You don't want to chip it. See, so we're going to add a whole bunch of different uh, layers in here to see what we can get. This is the most difficult part. You never please. So that's why you always want to try to do like do a mock-up. Look at the size of that one's a good chunk of rock. So we can get a lot. Always remember you want to keep it so we can have lots of water flow as well. So you do all different areas here. You know what I mean? So that's, you know, like the basics. You just got to get enough live rock in there. Get it, make it very uh, visual to the eye. So let's, uh, let's take some of this, let's start mix up some of this mortar and then we can get everything placed in here. So we got three tanks to do, it's gonna take a little while, but we'll get there guys. All right gang, so we got the Earmarco 400 kit open. We have everything we need. So what we have to do now is we're gonna mix this up. So we only mix up enough that we're gonna use for 10 to 15 minutes so we don't waste it. So to read the instructions, so it's just using the bucket, add a small amount of uh, mortar powder, then add a liquid to start slowly. So we end up, we're gonna mix what we need. So we're gonna add a little bit of uh, the mortar in here. What we can use 10, 15 minutes. So I'm planning on doing all three of these tanks. So I put about half, because I'm gonna get moving right at her. Whew, she's a little dusty. So now we're gonna add the liquid. So we just add until we get that consistency we want. So we keep reading. Um, she's gonna take it hard in about 20 minutes, reach uh, full strength in 24 hours. So let's start mixing. So we grab, uh, grab our little trowel and we just start adding what we need here. Mix her up. So you guys can see. So we're gonna mix this right up. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up doing all the tanks here and then uh, we'll end up adding the live sand later. It's always good, I find, put all your uh, live rock in first, get everything all fit where you want 
and then pour the sand on the bottom and then it goes around the rock. So this way if you have any uh, gobies or a pistol shrimp or anything that like to dig under a rock, this way that won't knock everything over. So let's just keep adding so we get that consistency we're looking for. You guys can see here, mixing it up. So we don't want to mix it too dry. We want somewhat of a nice consistency. This is a, this is a nice product to work with. You guys can see right there, I got a nice uh, mortar consistency. If you guys have ever done like tile floors, it's pretty much the same looking material. So there we go, I like that consistency. So now we're gonna have to come in close here and we'll start adding it to the rock. All right gang, so we got the EFA 100 all mixed up. So this is my mock-up and this is how I wanna build it. I'll bring you guys in close and personal there later after it's all set. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to applicate uh, the mortar onto here. So say I'm gonna grab this piece. So I have my base rock and I want to attach the mortar and the rock to this piece. Best thing to do, they say wet the surface first. So let's wet the surface. I just got a spray bottle. We'll get some water on here. I'll do the same here. And I'll attach some more onto this rock because that's where I'm gonna place it. So I got those two pieces all wet. So all we need to do now is we're gonna take our 400, some of the mortar, and we're just gonna add it right to the rock. So it's almost like a glue, right? It's like you're doing brick on a house. Same thing. So just add a nice bunch there. And we know that piece is gonna to attach to the other side. So we're gonna add some on the back of it as well. Just like so. So let's place it in here. Just like that. You can take your uh, take your little trowel. You can trowel around the area. So that's going to make it nice, and then eventually all the coralline algae in rock is going to end up being uh, one color. So you guys, you guys can see that end up going together really perfect. And you know, I could add some in here to attach to the other rock. I already put some on behind. So you just do like so. so. We can grab a little bit here. And travel right in between the two rocks. Like so. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing. I'll take this all apart. I'm gonna do exactly what you just seen to this whole display. And then I'm gonna do the other two tanks. But I just wanted to show you guys how this how easy it is to applicate it. Just remember always wet your rock a little bit and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish off this whole display, then I'll bring you guys back after, show you how it all uh, turned out. All right, gang, so I'm almost done oxygating all these three tanks. That's a lot of work to do three tanks in a row, but it works great using the eMarco 400. This is a really great product. I really enjoyed using it. I feel like an artist right here in the lab right now. It was amazing, because I've never actually had to use something like this before, placing and uh, mortaring all the, the rock together. It makes a really, uh, really strong structure as well. So it's amazing when we get a chance to, uh, you know, build these underwater worlds with such a great, great product like Marco's Rocks. So hopefully, you know, you guys try this stuff out. I really liked it and I'm definitely going to be using it again if I do any more tank builds. And the other thing is too, I still have to add is these nice uh, prime cut pieces of flat, uh, the flat rock. As you guys can see, it's amazing stuff. So when I want to take my photos and pictures, I have that right inside the tank and place all the corals on there and take a lot of nice uh, photography. So that's one thing, making all these beautiful underwater worlds. You always got to respect, you know, the marine life that's going into these. And then they have a nice places to hide just like home. So that's why it works out great. So you can see with like all the Marcos rock here, a lot of, it's really porous. So that means a lot of beneficial bacteria will be growing on that rock. And like I said in my other videos, what's great about it is it's pest free. We don't have any hitchhikers. So we're starting this tank out 100% fresh. You don't have to worry about anything. So this is the tank guys. I'm going to bring you guys in nice, uh, close and personal. You guys can check out the aquascaping. I really tried to keep everything as uh, the same as possible, but not all rock is made identical. So I had to do my best, but they all both each have their own little islands. They're going to have their flat piece of rock uh, below. And then they have their caves as well for the fish can hide. And then what we're going to do is in our other video, we're going to start adding all the live sand. So it works out great when you're adding your live sand, you don't, you have this on the bottom, on the glass. 
so no sand goes underneath it. So when you have any like pistol shrimp or gobies or fish that like to dig in the sand that can't get under your rock, then it can't topple. So always keep that below, put all your aquascaping in first and you'll be good to go. So I'll bring you guys in close, let's check all this out. All right guys, so here's the first tank. As you guys can see, I got the cave, I got a lot of nice little areas and places to mount corals. And this way there's a lot of water flow and you guys can see the nice prime cut piece uh, Marco's rock at the bottom so if I want to take any photography of corals I have that nice uh, platform so you guys can see all the mortar in between all the joints it worked out really well you guys can see fastens everything you guys can see different holes for uh, frag plugs so that piece is nice and solid you're good to go so let's move on to the next one so here we go here's the next one you guys see the big cave in the middle I built this side here almost like uh, like stairs so I can place the corals as I go makes a nice area for that as well and everything is all bonded together very nicely same thing nice little flat piece in the front there's a lot of nice surface area here for all the beneficial bacteria so let's move on to the third tank as you guys can see I added a nice uh, cave in below here as well for fish things to hide and it's nice you can attach corals around the inside gives you that really nice uh, crevice effect and then in the same thing, everything's all mortared together underneath and through the cracks to give a complete seal. So I'll give this 24 hours to dry up, but it's pretty solid there right now, so it's good to go. All right, farmhands, so you just watched me aquascape all three of these tanks, so I hope you guys have really enjoyed this uh, episode. Thanks a lot, uh, Marcos Rock, for all the rock and all the your E400. It worked out perfectly for these tanks. I think it looks uh, pretty good. We got all our caves, we got our islands. And we have just enough room around there so we have all our fish can swim and we have a lot of water movement. So hopefully you guys really like this episode. Um, thanks for checking it out. If you guys could please leave your comments below, I'd love to get back to you. All right, so tune in same time, same place next week. You never know what's coming up next, guys. Bye.